tattoos. Four out of every 10 US adults between 18 and 69 have at least one. They are permanent pieces of art that you will take with you to the grave. And they date as far back as 3000 BCE. But new research is showing that they may permanently change the inside of your body as much as the outside. So what makes tattoos permanent? And do they pose any health risks? Nameless. Humans have actually been marking their bodies with tattoos for thousands of years, be it for religious reasons, social status, or even punishment. Many female Egyptian mummies dating back to 2000 BCE have been found with tattoos, and the Iceman, a mummy discovered in 1991 that's believed to have lived between 3345 BCE and 3300 BCE, had 61 tattoos in total. Today, people most likely ink themselves for self-expression or sentimental reasons. But for all the focus we put on the meaning of tattoos, it's less often that we think about how they got there in the first place and what keeps them on your skin, you know, forever. Generally speaking, tattoos are permanent because the ink gets deposited in the dermis, a deeper layer of the skin that contains blood vessels, collagen fibers, and nerves. And this is done with a tattoo machine that uses tiny needles to puncture the dermis. And you might think that the needles themselves are injecting ink into the skin, but that's a misconception. The ink is actually held between the needles, similar to paint on a paintbrush. And after a needle punctures the skin, the ink between the needles gets drawn down. And when it comes to the permanence of tattoos, you can thank or blame your immune system. You see, each time a tattoo needle pierces the skin, it causes a wound, which naturally causes a response from your immune system to send cells called macrophages to that area to close up those wounds. But when they get there, macrophages realize it's not just a wound they need to deal with, but a foreign invader as well, the ink. So they try to get rid of it by eating it. Meanwhile, skin cells called fibroblasts begin to soak up the ink that the macrophages didn't get to. Some of those ink-filled macrophages and fibroblasts then get stuck in the dermis, which is actually what you're looking at when admiring a tattoo. The ink that's trapped inside the cells that attempted to destroy it. Kind of like a little cell graveyard. But what exactly is in the ink that those little guys are eating? And how safe is it? The FDA does not exercise regulatory authority over the pigments used in tattoo inks, but when a problem associated with tattoo ink is identified, they do investigate. On their website, the FDA claims that published research has shown some inks contain pigments used in printer toner and even car paint. And a report from the European Commission showed that tattoo ink frequently contains hazardous chemicals, like heavy metals and preservatives that could cause bacterial infections. Even more recent research has found that tattoo ink can sometimes travel to the lymph nodes, which filter out substances as part of the immune system. Analysis on cadavers with tattoos showed enlarged and pigmented lymph nodes, which researchers believe are from substances in the tattoo ink, like iron oxides, nickel, chromium, or cobalt which means that these metallic materials could be winding up in the lymph nodes. So what's a health-minded person to do if they want to get a tattoo? Well, you should avoid getting a tattoo with colors derived from heavy metals. Black may be the safest permanent tattoo ink, and doctors recommend asking for black tattoo ink made of just carbon. And for red, try to find a parlor that works with non-metallic organic pigments made of things like carmine, scarlet lake, sandalwood, or brazil wood. When it comes to other shades, just ask around for non-metallic alternatives. But more studies still need to be conducted in order to understand the long-term effects on tattoo ink. Until then, you may want to ask your tattoo artist if the ink contains oxide particles. Lots to think on before you get your ink on. Do you want more Everything Explained? Click here to subscribe. And if you want something explained to you, comment below. Nameless.